In this video, I'd like to talk just a little bit about the, the big picture of what's going on here with, uh, with my big toe, virtual reality and uh, these physics experiments. You know, what's the, what's the big picture? Well, my big toe is really a theory of consciousness. It's an understanding of what consciousness is, how does it work, you know, what can it do, what can it do. Uh, it's a model of existence in that sense, given that consciousness really defines our existence. If we're not conscious, then we're not aware of any existence. So it's a model of existence and a model of consciousness. As it turned out, this model of consciousness had some, some basic logic that built it up, and that same logic started answering questions about physics, about quantum mechanics, about relativity, about tunneling, about other sciences, not all just physics, but other sciences, it started to explain things in our world and in our inner experiences in such a way that we had an understanding of why these things happen. Uh, it made the paranormal normal. If you understand uh, consciousness, then you can understand some of the artifacts of consciousness, such as uh, telepathy, such as uh, intent, Things like the placebo effect, how is it that when your intent changes, your health changes, connections between the body and, and mind, all these things then fall out with easy explanations once you understand how consciousness works. It was a surprise that you can also understand most of the big uh, paradoxes in physics and how they work with the exact same logic being applied. Okay. So that's the overstructure. We're talking about consciousness being fundamental and this physical reality of ours being a derivative of that consciousness system. Now I call that system the larger consciousness system and it's an information system and it computes this virtual reality and we are pieces of consciousness that play avatars in this virtual reality in order for us to evolve the quality of our consciousness. Science would have you believe that consciousness is somehow manufactured in the brain. Matter of fact, they have a name for that process. They call it the hard problem. How the brain manufactures consciousness is the hard problem. Well, the reason why it's such a hard problem is that consciousness is not manufactured in the brain. So trying to prove that it is, is really a hard problem because that's not the way it works. You see, consciousness is the main thing, the fundamental thing. And we in this virtual reality are derivatives of consciousness. We're a virtual reality produced by consciousness. So understanding consciousness as the, as the big thing, the overall thing, the primary thing, the fundamental thing is key to this idea. Well, as long as it stays up in the philosophical clouds, then it doesn't get too exciting and a lot of people say, eh, well, kind of, so what? But once you start to realize that when you understand consciousness, you can understand what's going on in this physical reality. You understand the science better and you understand yourself better. You see, we live in two realms, really. One realm is the objective realm, and that's the realm that science speaks to. The objective realm, you know, this chair, my body, these are objective things. But then we also live in a subjective realm. In the subjective realm is where things such as love and caring and happiness and all of the things, all of the choices and things that you do, all the qualia, all of the sense of what's important and what's not. Most everything in your life that's significant and important lives in the subjective world. It has to do with your relationship 
relationships are primarily subjective. Relationships are the core thing we have here with our interaction with other things and with other people. All of that is subjective. And this, this understanding of consciousness lets you do science, gives you understanding in that subjective realm. You see, science only looks at the objective. If you understand consciousness, you get to understand the subjective and the objective. Both worlds are laid out perfectly clear and logically. One of the things I, I hear in my email are a lot, Tom, thanks a lot for your big toe because now I just learned that I'm not crazy. These are people who have had experiences that just don't make sense. Experiences they just couldn't explain. These are subjective experiences and they just couldn't explain it. And you can't explain away every subjective experience as, oh, that was a, you know, a, 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 you know, a mental problem, you know, you were hysterical, uh, none of that actually happened, none of that actually you know, was in your mind, you just think it is. Well, that's a poor excuse. Many people have experiences that they know are just as real, if not more real, than this physical reality and they come away with no explanation. Well, eventually, they might convince themselves that maybe they just made it up. Maybe they are mentally ill until they understand the significance of that experience, till they understand why that happened, what, it, what its importance was, what its significance was. You know, why did it happen that way? How did it happen? And what should have been the interaction, the, the response to that? What was, it, what was the lesson? what's important about it, and once they see it as part of a structure of a big picture, well, they're not crazy anymore. It all makes sense. And that's what an understanding of consciousness brings to you. Your world, both inside and outside, both subjective and objective, will then begin to make sense where it didn't before. All the science that didn't make sense becomes sensible science with logical derivatives and all the internal experiences, your happiness, your struggle, your joy, your misery, all makes sense. Why are you miserable? Why are you happy? It all makes sense when you understand consciousness. Why are you frightened? Why do you get angry? Why do you have these buttons that set you off when, when uh, people push those, those special buttons that uh, give you a very strong emotional reaction? It all makes sense. It's all there for a reason. It's all there for a purpose. And most of it's all there because you put it there, even though you don't realize it. So that's the subject for this little video is consciousness is fundamental. And if you understand how consciousness works, you can understand how you work, how the world works, and how you and the world and everybody else interact into one big thing that is all connected.